A very good afternoon. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. Well, the entire city is on fire today as they have gathered in Freedom Park to go ahead and pledge their support for the safety of women and children in the city. Freedom Park, which has been the site of protests over the past couple of years, will wear a red look today. Hundreds of Bengalurians are coming together in protest against the increase in crime against women in the city. With the Bengaluru police giving their go-ahead for the protest, it will begin around noon and go on till 4 in the evening. The horrifying rape of a six-year-old in Vibgyor school in Martahalli brought the pathetic response of Bengaluru police to the focus of the whole nation. Yesterday, angry parents and concerned Bengalurians took to the streets, voicing their dissent. But today, being a Sunday, thousands more are, uh, are expected to gather at Freedom Park to raise their voice against the violence against women as well as children in Bengaluru. Bengalurians are coming together dressed in red to make a statement and hoping to put an end to crime against women in the city. They're calling it the Red Day. Remember, the commissioner said that the rapists will be arrested in a day or two. So day one is up and parents are worried that Auradkar just made an empty promise to get out of a tight situation yesterday. He is expected to also arrive at the protest site at around 2.30 p.m. Will he have a stronger message this time around? Will he go ahead and reassure all the Bengalurians out there that justice will be delivered? Remember, now it's not just the parents, but the entire city which has come together to protest all that's taken place in Bengaluru. It's come to light that the city may be increasingly unsafe for people, not just for the women out there, but even children are not being spared. And the government just seems to be watching all this taking place which is why, of course, the entire city has come together. We're looking at a sea of red at Freedom Park today as everyone has decided that they will go ahead and pledge their support for this massive campaign. If uh, you are, of course, unable to go ahead and join our campaign there in Freedom Park, you too can message and show us your support. You can message uh, News 9 Space RD at 54999669 so that you can say that, yes, I am a Bengalurian and I will not take any more the uh, incidents against women and children. <laughs> And already a huge number of people have gathered here. We're expecting a lot more to turn up in a, a couple of hours from now. Remember, if you are sitting at home, it is a Sunday. Do get out there. It is an issue that uh, addresses every one of us. It does involve each one of us. If uh, you are a woman, if you have a sister, a daughter, a mother, you will want to watch for their safety. So make your way out there so that the police as well as the government have no choice but to listen to what Bengalurians have to say. Well, uh, my colleague Vivek Vinayaka is in Freedom Park currently bringing us all the latest details. Vivek, over to you. Take us through exactly what's taking place. How many people have gathered so far? Well, as expected, Akshita, we've got a good number of people who have thronged to Freedom Park here. Uh, and the entire protest organized by the Red Brigade group has turned out to be a very good success. Initially, we thought there's going to be a massive crowd and there's going to be a lot of traffic jam. But uh, hats off to the police. They have managed the traffic here. There's no chaos. There's no jam at all. But around 300 to 400 people have assembled here. And we just heard a lady talk about her experience in Mumbai with the same uh, particular brand called Bibgyor. And she was appealing to all uh, the citizens in India not to admit their child in this particular chain of schools, Bibgyor, because she also had the same experience experience in fact a, a similar experience it's not rape exactly but a similar traumatic experience for her child as well and she appealed to all the parents that uh, you know uh, this principal this particular chairman Rustam who runs this particular brand called Bib your school is just commercializing the entire education system and is not there out to give your child education but just making money out of the entire system there so uh, a lot of parents coming up on the stage talking about their experiences appealing to the government as time progresses, we're expecting more and more people to come to Freedom Park. And we appeal from News 9 to all the people watching our show to please come to Freedom Park and support for this really important cause, Akshita. 
Absolutely, Viveka. Also, if you could take us through exactly what is taking place now, how long will these protests last? And is there any sort of schedule? We also understand that the commissioner is expected to reach at 2.30. Exactly, Akshita. In some time, say in another 20 to 30 minutes, the Commissioner of Bangalore, Aradkar, will also be here at this particular place. But before that, a lot of parents are coming up on stage, sharing their experiences. Uh, not protest exactly, they're not, there's no slogan hearing or there's no uh, any violence here. But the parents are just coming up on the stage, appealing to other parents, sharing the experience. In fact, now, uh, behind me, there is a, a, a kind of small music show happening there, uh, dedicated to all the rape victims of India. So uh, it's, it's a complete package, Akshita. It's not just uh, protest, it's not just sloganeering. It is a complete program, a complete uh, stage for all the parents, for all the people of our city to come and share the views and to support this cause and uh, finally send that message to the government to protect women in India. Right, uh, uh, Viveko. Also, of course, uh, we have to keep in mind that a lot of people are expected there. What are the kind of security measures that have been taken up? So far, so good, Akshita. The police have managed this uh, crowd really, really well. Uh, we always see when there are protests in Freedom Park, uh, there are a lot of traffic jams across this area. But as I told you in the morning, uh, uh, the uh, traffic policemen are doing their job really well. Around 300 people have already come here. Uh, as time progresses, I think we expect another 300 or 400 people, almost 1,000 or 2,000 people by evening here. So in that case, people taking routes around Majestic, Upar Pet, uh, Shishadri Puram or Palace Road should avoid this particular road towards the evening. But as of now, the traffic police are managing the traffic really well. Everything is smooth and the security arrangements also are great. Uh, the policemen also standing here to avoid any untoward, in, untoward inst uh, incidents. I beg your pardon. And uh, I, I think the, the whole protest here in this particular place is in a very silent mode, in a very uh, uh, meaningful mode. So anything to do with untoward incidents are not expected here, Akshita. Also, uh, how many of the parents from Vibgyor have actually been present there? Because they are the ones who have been taking this protest forward. Have they come together as well out there? Yes, Akshita, a lot of parents have come from the Vipgyar uh, school itself. In fact, uh, I would say around 100 parents from uh, Vipgyar school who put their children in Vipgyar are present here. And uh, they have also shared their experience. In fact, uh, when we spoke to them, they actually told us of how they're uh, being fleeced with money, you know, 2 lakh rupees of donation. And they actually rent out their swimming pool. Uh, they, uh, they also rent out the ground next to the school. So, so much of threat uh, lying in this particular school, Vipgyar, and nobody has seen it until now. So, uh, they finally realized that, you know, how education is being commercialized. In fact, a parent just spoke about how her uh, child was also being, you know, uh, ill-treated in a school in Mumbai in the same uh, brand, Vibgyar brand. So, uh, the parents from Vibgyar are also here sharing their experiences. Parents from across the schools have also come. The best part about this pr protest is, it's not just parents from Vibgyar. Parents from across the schools have come here and are protesting. And uh, behind me, you can actually see, uh, if I'm not wrong, Uh, there are also police personnel who are, who are just coming here. If I'm not sure, I think uh, a lot of police personnel are already uh, reaching this point here and they've stopped. In fact, the Commissioner of Police is here, Akshita, and uh, we will be cutting live to what the Commissioner says about this incident, about this protest, Akshita. Right, right, uh, Vivek. In fact, uh, we will now show you live visuals from Freedom Park. Uh, Commissioner has uh, finally arrived. Uh, Raghavendra Aurathkar is present there uh, and, uh, of course, he is expected to address the gathering. So, 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 uh, we are going to keep this in an organized fashion, okay? Please, no shouting. Uh, we'll, we'll give, give you a chance, a few of you a chance to raise questions. But uh, we don't want the same incident that happened yesterday when the commissioner actually wanted to address people and uh, it, it, it turned nasty. So, uh, do I have your assurance that we will maintain civility here? Yeah? We are here for a cause. We are responsible people. We are Bangaloreans. All right. Um, Mr. Commissioner, we, we know what's been happening, okay? Everybody is really aghast, okay? Is there anything that you could tell us to reassure us as to what the police department is doing? One is to 
ensure that crimes like this don't happen. But more importantly, what is the action that's going to be taken now from now? Deepak, how you keep? My dear Bangladesh, how do you keep logo? You are all aware that after the Nirbhaya case, the government of India had strengthened the law against the rape, and uh, I'm sure you are all aware that uh, there is a new act also about prevention of sexual offences against the children. And uh, these are quite new acts, new laws, which have been amended on the recommendations of Justice Verma Committee in 2013. The, as far as Bangalore is concerned, uh, you uh, let me make it very, very clear that there were incidents of rape which are really condemnable and really uh, do not, uh, cannot be accepted by the society. One was a incident that had happened in January, a child and a preschool child we had, it was almost, it was a very, very blind case in our police language in the investigation. When there are no clues, we call it as a blind case. Our people, uh, we did a lot, we did take a lot of trouble and we got the person. And uh, within the stipulated time, as per the law, we have sub submitted the charge sheet, what we call to the court. Second one was in a PG hostel. That was also a very, very unfortunate incident. There also we have taken action. For your information, in Bangalore city, out of 60 cases that were there till 30th June, 44 cases are about elopement or cheating, saying that we will, I will marry you and having, uh, uh, under that pretext, having intercourse, that is also a rape. Subsequently, not allowing, uh, not marrying. So that is also a rape. So th such cases are 44. Nine cases are from the known persons within the circle of the victim. Two cases which are burst, which are disgusting, are by the fathers on the daughter. Remaining four are what I told you. So that way we are, as a city, Bangaloreans are really very, very good. Bangaloreans do not accept this kind of thing. And I can reassure you that whatever has happened in last week, of a child in the Vidyar school is really condemnable. It should not have happened. I have promised all of you that we will take whatever strong action we can take provided to us by the law against the perpetrators.